Hi folks, and welcome to another video from myself, Slim Nasty. We're going to be having another look at ETS2 today. We haven't looked at this for a little while, and uh, SCF has kindly launched a new new DLC today. So uh, I thought I'd take a look at it. Yes, let's go outside the truck. Look how pretty my truck is. Black and orange, with a bit of chrome. Just the right mix. So this is the, uh, the Scania Griffin. Griffin DLC. For the, or should I say the Griffin DLC for the Scania? Yes, we're going to take this for a drive. How cool is that? Look, we're going to bring the, the middle axles up. There we go. How cool is that? Do you want to hear it? You do, don't you? Oh, put the handbrake on. Look at that! V8 power! I've turned the game up so you can hear because obviously in cab it goes a little bit quiet. Just going to top up the tank and then we're going to go for a drive in it. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look because this is quite cool. I've set a little journey, I've set a waypoint up two, two hours and 40 minutes away. So a little bit of a spin in the truck. How cool is that? V8 power in the truck. Brand new DLC for, for ETS Studios. ETS Studios? No, ETS 2 from SCS Studios even. How cool is that? Let's top my tank up and we'll get going. Look how much money I've got. 999,705,792 pounds 27p. It doesn't show the 27p though. I'm just, just saying that. But I'm sure it's got 27p. Right, we're going to take this for a drive. I've got my track IR on. Recording it in the evening. And uh, yeah pretty cool it's like you got to watch this video to the end though because like we're gonna go in and uh, have a little bit of a play with the uh, with the settings and stuff as we go when we get to the end we'll have another look a proper look at the configurations and why you would use this truck because it's cool I'm loving it so nothing's coming we can pull out Look at that V8. It's got some performances there, so it won't take long to do two hours. But I'm only doing a quick video. I haven't got a lot of time today. So, uh, it's only a short, short, quick, sharp video. Right, this isn't ATS. I can't go for a red light. But we can go for a green one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I do have a problem with my uh, track IR in sunlight. It really does not like sunlight. It goes all over the place. So uh, yeah, I've got a few dashboard toys. Got me a, uh, got my tails to gamers dog over there. My mobile, my compass just in case. Got my little hat down there. Got me a uh, Michelin Man for air freshener. Some LEDs in the windscreen. You can get there's other LEDs. We'll have a look at those. This V8 power. We can do 80 along here. And this is going to go no time. This is like a Formula One racing car for the truck world. I'm going to pull over there and then we'll get going along the motorway. Get this thing shifting. Oh, we got. Is that a roundabout? We're on a roundabout here. We're good to go. We're in an F1 truck. We've not got any issues. Black and orange F1 truck. This is it. This is what you want in life. Can't get better than a black and orange F1 truck. Okay, we're all good. We're going to turn down here. We're off to Le Mans, by the way. Can I beat that car? No. Seriously? Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so I've got my thunder horns. We can do 90 along here. I like that. See how quick this thing picks up. It's amazing. Oh, no, I want to go in that lane. Sorry, mate. I'm going straight on. I wasn't watching the sat nav. I was watching the performance of the engine. Oh, yes. This thing shifts. The old chrome plate on the front there. Chrome mirrors. Nice, subtle interior. I don't go overboard 
Not me. No, we can, you can do a lot of bling on this truck. You can have like all the front grille blinged up. Load, you can have millions of lights. Personally, I'm not keen on all of that. I think this is good. We've got a good time. Nine o'clock in the morning. Reasonable weather. And uh, yeah, we're going to shift. Oh, I should go in that lane, really. And I think we're, we've got to slow down now. So we're going to go straight through, but I will need to slow. So we've already done like half an hour. It's like, how long is that taking? No time at all. There we go. Oh, hotel beef. Cheers, mate. If it's all day, why do they need a man standing there? Huh? Hey, just saying. They've put automation in so they don't have to pay someone a wage, and then they pay somebody a wage just to stand there looking at the automation. What's going on there? That can't be right. Look at that. I've got all my air um, simulation on as well. So you can hear all the air pipes hissing and stuff. This is this is about the sound, the looks, the bling, everything is in this in this pack. I'm not sure how you could better it, to be honest. I think it's fabulous. So uh, we're coming along. We're doing good. I may have picked the journey a little bit too long. Maybe I should have picked one a little bit shorter. I don't know. Up to you guys to decide. My videos are normally an hour long, um, or more. Some of them are two hours long when it comes to ETS. They're a bit too long. So I figured we'd, we'd chop it down a little bit. We'd, uh, we'd get it down to a few minutes, maybe. Maybe maybe ten, max. I don't know. But uh, we might still do it in about ten, fifteen. Shouldn't be too bad. We are motoring. This is a quick ultra. I wanted you to see it actually drive, but I, I'm starting to think... I've messed up and I should have put a trailer on the back because like you can't see what it's like without a trailer really can you but never mind we've done it now I haven't really got the time to go back and record something with a trailer so we're just gonna have to wing it so yeah this is out today reasonable price I can't remember what I paid for it actually but it was only a few quid it wasn't like there is a steam sale on this weekend as well so beneficial just saying, now's the time. If you want, especially like ETS 2 was like £3.74 for the base game. But you can buy it as a pack, so you can get Going East, you can get a Scandinavia, you can get France. France is still a little bit pricey, but personally I still think it's good value for money. I love France. I really do love driving down through France. They've done a really good job at that DLC. Here we go. We're going to uh, try and pull out here. See, I had the poor performance to cut him up there. Just saying, normally, I mean, even the Volvo may have been put... No, the Volvo would have done it easy as well, to be fair. That thing's got like 700 horsepower. You can get this. I think this goes up to 730, and I think the Volvo is 750. But correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there, because I'm not entirely sure. But I think this goes up to 730. I, I went for the 560 one, because I think once you actually got a trailer on the back... Which I'm, I'm now regretting that we haven't got a trailer on the back. That, uh, yeah, it, it's quite good. It, it seems about right. You can feel the hill, the hills, especially when you get the uh, the new physics that they've done because they've upgraded the physics in the game as well. So it's, it's really is nice. We're coming off here, so we're not far, and then we'll park up. Actually, I don't know. Shall we park up or shall we go and get a trailer? I'm tempted to go and get a trailer. I don't know. I've got I've got 15 minutes of game time to decide. Then nothing's coming. Just hark at that ticking over. We're sa saving our tyres as well by lifting that middle axle. Or the I don't know if you call it a first axle because it's the first one, or the second axle, or I don't know. I don't know the technical term. But uh, yeah, we're lifting it. I think, to be honest, we're we're kind of only ten minutes in. I'm thinking I could just pick up a trailer. We'll do a short one because, like, then you can see it. You know, the new DLC, the Griffin Pack, 
with, with a trailer on my back. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, I hit the brakes a bit hard there. Let's drop it down and start off again. That was that was me. Uh, it, listen to all those air pipes going off. Are you, you're coming round, are you? No, you got right away, mate. Okay. Oh, right, you're going to go now, are you? All right, well, I'm coming out. I don't care. Come on. No, you're not getting right away. Oh, look, I've had enough of you guys. You're being stupid. I don't know what these guys are doing, but they don't know how to drive around a roundabout. That's for sure. A little bit early on the signal there, but that's okay. We're at Le Mans. This is one of my favourite places in the world that I've been to. I haven't been to a lot of places, but Le Mans I love. When you get it, I don't know if you've ever been to Le Mans, but absolute friggin' awesome place to go and watch the 24 hours race. Brilliant atmosphere, guys. If you ever get a chance and you like motorsport, go to Le Mans. Absolutely fantastic. We've got to go around a bit of a one-way system. They do actually put a one-way system in when the race finishes um, to get people out of town. It's quite funny because if you go back to your campsite and you want to go out for a meal, don't expect to come straight back in anytime soon. So if you forget something, tough shit, because you will not get back into the campsite because basically every road leads away from the campsites to get people out. Because they have a massive ex exodus of people like, Right, show's over, let's go. And what me and my friend used to do was basically... It's quite funny, we'd pay for an extra night, but half the time we went, we're like, sod it, let's go. <laughs> and then we'd shoot off and try and catch an earlier ferry. And nine times out of ten, you do. Uh, but one time, we went to Malau. So we went down south of France, down to Malau, where the big viaduct is. And that was an epic trip. So we left sort of at 8 o'clock in the evening, went and grabbed something to eat. And, like, left Le Mans about 8 o'clock, I would say. And then drove southwards to somewhere we'd never been on a long drive. And about 1am we decided, all right, enough's enough. We're going to kip in the car. So we kipped in the car, and then we got down there the following day. But, oh, what a journey. What a journey. My car did die that year as well because like on the way back from Malau we were going to go to the Nürburgring and then the turbo blew. I was only taking it easy as well. I, I honestly was only taking it easy. And I have to say we stopped at a pub. I said do you do pub lunches? And he yeah 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 we, we make your sandwiches. Uh, excellent. Can we like have a, a chi, brie like sandwich? And it was disgusting. It really was disgusting. It was the worst cheese. I mean, I've had brie before, and I've had, like, all sorts of French cheeses, but this is the worst cheese ever. It really was terrible. Right, we're going in here. We're gonna. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go go and um, pick up a trailer, because I don't see why not. Uh, I wanted to come in here because, obviously, it's off-road, and I can turn V on, which turns on. Oh, is that... Oh. Ah, so there you go. If you look at the dash, see the little light coming on? And that's just slipped diff. So it's got a light on the dashboard. We're going to go in here. Now, we need a trailer. Where's the thing? Here it is, down here. We're good. We're all good. There's the thing. There. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, well, I, I can see what I've done here. The Griffin Pack isn't the DLC. I've got it wrong. It's it's that thing there. That That's the new DLC. I got it wrong. Oops. I've just wasted 14 minutes of your time. I'm ever so sorry. But it is funny, isn't it, really? Because I did do it on purpose. You're like, you're, you're sat there for fear. Slim, this ain't the new DLC. What are you doing? I kind of knew that. I kind of wanted to show it off. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the truck. I'm going to put the handbrake on. Why am I going to do it? Right. What am I going to do? We're going to go outside now. This here is the Griffin Pack. And yes, I have bought it at the same time because I didn't have it. 
So I kind of wanted to show you this and the truck because it made sense. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to quit out of there and I'm going to go to options and I'm going to show you the eight cargoes that you get with this heavy cargo pack, which is the new DLC. I'm kind of messing with you. Couldn't resist. Sorry. Um, right, so you go to, sorry, you go, don't go there. You go to About Me and you go to Trailer Browser. Now, what you get in this pack is two trailer types. So you get single extendable flatbed and semi low loader with drop deck. I've had a go with this one. I've had two goes with this one. There are four loads on each. The first one is a cable reel. And I'm not doing these in any particular order and I don't know the weights of each individual one. We shall come back to that in a moment though. There's concrete beams. I believe that's quite a heavy one. There is a metal centering, which is the first one I did, and I completely messed up with the parking. I really struggled to park that thing. The back wheel's turned, by the way. And transformer, and I've done that one. So they're, they're the four. They're the lighter ones, I believe. Well, not necessarily the lighter ones, but they're the ones that are, are the sort of lower load flatbed. These ones are the extendable ones, so you can extend it to match the cargo. So you have got an asphalt miller. So that mills all the asphalt up ready to be sort of heated up and then put on the road go okay, that that goes into another machine then and then that lays the tarmac effectively you have got a dozer crawler so you've got this thing now looking at that i don't exactly know what this is but i'm assuming that this goes along and that part i mean that's just effectively like a hook that digs up the earth i presume but this part here i presume gets dragged along to flatten the earth, but I could be totally wrong because I have not got an actual clue as to what that is. I mean, that could just go on the back. It probably hooks onto there looking at it, but I, I don't honestly know. I could be totally wrong. If you know what that is, let me know down in the comments now. Uh, and then we've got a mobile crane. So this is another good one. I've not, not driven any of these. So that's a cool one. And then we've got, uh, which is that? Uh, we've got the locomotive, which is the one I really want to do, but every time I turn up somewhere, it's always not there. I can never seem to get it. What I want to do, though, over the next week or two, I want to do all eight of these loads for you guys. That's what I want to do. So there'll be random days, and I should just go into them. I'll try and make them shorter than an hour long. Um, so I'll try and pick the shorter routes, but in a case of this, it might just have to be a case of whatever comes along. So we're going to go there. I believe I've got to pick it up here. Uh, so I've got to go contracts. It's this one here. And I'm going to take that job. We're going to go and do it. We're going to go up to Southampton. There we go. So this here is a new overlay, by the way. It comes up with a, track, a truck analysis screen to tell you this is, this truck is suited. It is obviously, because that's the lower that is, I think, the better um, from what I can tell. Because that's what you need is basically torque, engine power, etc., if they're in yellow, I presume they're fine. I don't actually know, though, because I've not seen it go any different colours apart from those. It's just highlighting what you need. So, obviously, the more power, the better, I presume. So, the things that are in yellow, the higher the torque, the higher the engine power, the lower the gear ratios you can get, differential ratios, etc., the better it is. It needs a good retarder, axle count, whatever. Obviously, if they're not, I presume they come in red, but I've not actually had it, so I've not tried it with a lesser truck. And this should, I say should, be able to take this as far as I know, because it's not all the way up to the... Uh, this this parameter is essential for heavy transport, so I'm presuming it's really well suited for this. I think that's meant to be higher, not lower. I said lower just a minute ago. I meant the higher. I do apologise. I think. I don't know. So we're going to continue... We're going to go and do this job. Yes. This is going to be fun. So, we've got our slip diff on. I've got my axle out. I'm going to drop my axle first. Because we're going to need that. Here we go. We're going to pull in. We're going back to Southampton. So, it might take might take me an hour. So, you might have thought, oh, I'm only going to get 10 minutes. But you're actually going to get a bit longer. Because I tricked you. I thought it was funny myself. I'm like that. Wow, we're already in. Already in. I 
Now, I wouldn't like to say whether I can turn it here. Let me just have a look outside. Probably not. I think we're going to have to go forward and revert. This is going to be fun, just getting this out. So we're having to go down the first straight away. see the wheels to look at the wheels turn I right, need to turn it back in look at that that's not bad I'm gonna turn the steering wheel all the way there we go all right Hopefully, it will swing around. We might have to reverse again a little bit. I don't think we are. Uh, yeah, we're not going to make that. I can see in the mirror. So we are going to reverse back on the opposite lock. Wow, this is fun just getting out of the place. That should be enough. Wow. Wow, I think there must be a crawler gear here. It doesn't like full lock. Here we go, we're moving. And <laughs> imagine starting this on a hill climb. I've only got 560 horsepower, by the way, guys. I've purposely gone low to make it challenging. Have I gone too low? How much does this thing weigh? How much does it weigh? Let's have a look. Asphalt, 43 tons! Oh my god. That's a lot. We should be able to turn our slip diff off when we get to the road. That was a nightmare, just literally that last bit. So, I'm going to turn the slip diff off so you see it go off on the screen. We'll let him go past. And you'll see the back wheels turning. How cool is that? You need to... How are we going to get this thing out if it's going to hit the friggin' thing? I'll tell you, the first time I drove this, just a minute ago, it was like perfect. Did it straight away. What an issue. I want to get this over. Oh, mate, you, you can go. It's going to come out this time. I, what it was is the back back of the trailer swung round. Then I cut it in too much. I, I, I left myself to the right too far. Basically, that was my own fault. Kev's going to be like laughing his head off at you right about now. Uh, I've got beacons, but I can't remember. Is it that one? Yes. There we go. We should have beacons on, I think. Again, Kev will correct me if I'm wrong. So that comes out lovely there. We've got two gears there. And then, where are we turning? After here. So we're going left here. There's only a tent. It's a, it's a quick run. I haven't picked a long one because I don't want to do long runs. I am going to cut you guys back a little bit. We're going to wean you off videos. Oh my god, what's he going to do? Uh, I'm going to cut you back to half an hour to 45 minutes a day because you've currently been getting sort of an hour plus every day. And that's probably hard for you lot to keep up with, let alone me to produce. Because, good news, the Dacia, no, not the Dacia Sandero, no, I've got myself a full-time job, 
which I start on the 22nd. So literally, I've got next week and the following week I start. So I need to get a better schedule sorted out because I still want to produce virtually everyday videos. My target, and I've, I've got, hopefully by the time you watch this, I'll have a separate video up. But if not, I should put one up very soon about everything. Um, the target I'm aiming for is, let's let you go first. Uh, yeah, it's a daily video, Monday to Friday. Monday to Saturday, sorry. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, you'll get a daily video of between 30 minutes and 45 minutes long. Ideally 30, but if it's 40, it's 40. Or if it's 45, it's 45. I'm going to try and get away from the hour-long episodes and cut them back a bit. I just need to be a bit more efficient in-game. I can do it. That's what we originally had. Uh, so that's what I want to get down for. And you're going to say, wait a minute, Slim, what about the Sunday? I've relu Reluctantly, I'm going to drop Motorsport Manager because it's been frustrating me. Because... If you, if you make your own team, the finances are completely flawed and the performance figures are completely flawed and it really irritates me. If you use one of the other teams, you still need a major money mod in to make it work, but you can only do it one mod. It's like, so the game to me is a bit flawed and needs a bit more sorting out to make it a really good game. Plus, you're looking at over an hour's worth of video there, which I really haven't or won't have the time once I go back to work. To, to produce basically I'm just not going to get the time because what I want to do is I want to keep up the Grand Canyon project live so there'll be a bit of moving about oh actually I can stay in this lane there's going to be a little bit of moving around possibly I will try and keep everything on the same days but I may have to move things around but what I want to do is that basically six days on YouTube and one day on Twitch a week now the Twitch stream will move to Sundays with the Grand Canyon and I'll probably do about, it can be about six to eight hours because I don't want to do a 12 hour because like that's just too, it'd be too much for me each week. I need some time off myself. I can't do six days a week, uh, sorry, seven days a week every week sort of thing. So I, I will need time because bear in mind you getting six videos a week. I, that's going to take me the whole of Saturday pretty much to record, upload, get them live and so forth. So it's going to be cutting it tight anyway. We're doing good here. I'm liking this. No crashes. Big old load on the back. So yeah, that's the plan. So I'll, I'll do it a bit more detailed in the video, in a separate video. Like an announcement video to the channel update or something. And we're, we're going into more detail on that. But yeah, we're, basically I want to get to six YouTube videos and one Twitch stream a week. And the videos are going to be between half an hour and 45 minutes. If, once we get up and running, everything's going well, I may drop in more videos, may drop in more live streams. So we just have to see how we go. Because obviously it's going back to work again. I've got to get back into a routine of going to sleep at a suitable hour. We're getting too fast yet. Let's slow down a bit. And uh, making sure I get up in the mornings. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to not use my car to go to work. I'm going to use a bus, believe it or not. Um, because it's right in the city centre and it's just cheaper and easier to get in on a bus than it is to use a car I'll still have my car uh, just not going to use it for that so it obviously cut the insurance costs down and things which is good and uh, earning a wage is going to be good because that means I can invest the money back in the stream again like I've been doing along with the patron support and the, any donations on the live streams that have come through I'll go into like some behind the scenes stuff that's going on behind the scenes at the moment in the separate video so I'll include all that and you'll see where we're going but yeah basically that's what I want to get to six YouTube videos and then a live stream I think that'd be good look at this we're having to change down gear to go up these hills I'm liking this hopefully we're not going to get to the point where we can't move and we won't get nowhere look we're already half an hour into the stream Oh my god, it's amazing. So, what's what's planned for the future? Well, SCS still have got the double um, trailers to come out. They're yet to come. 
So they're going to be available for ETS and ATS. I'm not sure if these heavy cargoes are coming to ATS. I thought they were, but they haven't come out today. So they're either coming later or they're not coming at all. I thought they were, but I will need to double check on that to make sure. Maybe they've come, they've come out later today and I haven't noticed it. So if you guys know, pop that down in the comments. But one, if, if they come out, I mean the double trailer pack are meant to be free because they've taken six years to produce the work, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why there's been a delay, but there's been a, a delay, so we're going to have to wait for those. Um, so you got the double trailers and the American... Obviously, the DLC heavy, heavy cargo, if it's due for that, which I'm pretty sure it is. But again, as I say, correct me in the comments. There's also New Mexico to come out, which is the map pack for America. So, looking forward to that. So, they're coming up at some point. They might be coming out today, which I, I'm pretty sure they're not, because I would have seen them, I would have thought. Uh, or they're going to come out in a week, or two weeks, or four weeks, or six months. Who knows? Only SDS have got that schedule, and maybe a select few others, but we don't know. We're going to have to wait. I Personally, I think we're a little way away from the New Mexico. I think they are getting a lot closer, but I think we would have seen a few more bits and pieces about it if they were coming out in a few weeks sort of thing. So I, I, my guess would be at least four weeks, but that is pure speculation on my part. So it could be vastly wrong. Or if you're watching this video in 10 years time and thinking, Jesus, that 1080p image looks horrid, along with that 2CV that just passed you in France, which is kind of cool. Yeah, then you're going to be saying, well, you know, that New Mexico come out like eight years ago. You do the maths, that's like two years from now. Whoa, there you go. We shall see. When it comes, it comes. I will try and get hold of it. Um, as long as I've got the money in the bank to get it, I will get it. If, it. if it's like this, I mean, to verify, this trailer, which I didn't take a photo of, actually. I should have taken a photo. We'll take a photo when we stop. Um, but this trailer was, or this pack of trailers, this heavy cargo pack, was a mere four quid. And it actually had 10% off of that as well, so it was like 350 which is a bargain. Because you like paying fit less than 50p per cargo load which is good value. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I'd be happily paying four quid every couple of months or so for DLC if they kept on bringing it out of that, because I don't mind paying 50p a, a, a trailer. I just want more of it, more official stuff. I like the official stuff. Mind you, just saying, if you do bring a lot of it out, can you send me the keys, please? I'm sure if I asked, they would send me them, to be fair. He did send me ATS. <gasps> wrong lane, wrong lane. All good. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Excellent. That was kind of him, let me in. So, we got. if I press I, I can change the dashboard readout. There you go, that's a bit better. Fuel consumption, 99.9 .9 miles a gallon. No miles a gallon, because I've taken my foot off the throttle. I like that. Look how it steers around these corners. Driving it down the road is the easy bit, guys. Seriously. Lovely and easy. It's when you come to park the thing. Oh, yes. Going a little bit fast here. Uh, actually, we're coming back off. We are coming back off through a toll booth, round the corner, up and down the straight. Possibly a roundabout somewhere. You say slow to 50, but you do that, and then I slow lower than 50 because of the the speed of the uh, the incline or the. Ooh, I'm starting to panic now. This is getting narrow. Auto toll booth for the win. You know what I mean? Why are we paying for your wage sat there? That's what I don't get. Oh, the 
of this. This is cool. Hang on the left here. We may have to stop actually, saying that for rest and recuperation. Look at that turn. Look at it turn. You got a brief glimpse. Oh, it's all good. How long do we need? Five, yeah, five hours. Yeah, we're not going to do seven then. We will need to stop. And when we got to be doing 19, yeah, we can afford to stop. So we'll go a bit further. And uh, we'll rest up for hopefully the duration of the night. But it doesn't matter if it's not. And uh, we'll get going again. I kind of want to be moving quicker than this. We can do 80 along here. It'd be nice if we were actually. <laughs> Sharp turn. Racing line. We've got the racing truck. Is that? I don't know. Yeah. It's a single file road. I was saying, is that like a lane splitter? Didn't look like it because it was too thick a white line. Wow. I don't remember this bridge. Have we been over this bridge before? Must have. Hang on, is this meant to be the Malau Bridge? No. It might be. Where are we in France? No, we're too far north. We were up in uh, Le Mans. Yeah, we're definitely having to use the gears with this 560 horsepower engine. Loving it. Wait, why did that jump out of gear? It was in gear. I'm nowhere near the gear stick. <coughs> Going a little bit too quick. We've hit a billion quid! Seriously? Wow! Billion pounds! That's a mega milestone there. So not only have we got the Griffin pack, not only have we got the heavy cargo pack, we've also got a billion pounds in the account. How about that? I have switched to me at my Scania, and it has got 12... No, actually, has it got 12? Yeah, it's got 12,000 miles on the clock. I was looking at it then, is that, is that 12? Let me have a look. That is 12,387. You are right, Slim. Don't second guess yourself. It looks unprofessional when you do that. Yeah, we've done 12,000 miles in this truck previously. Um, kitted out differently, obviously. So I've re kitted it with the Griffin pack. And uh, gone from there. We need to be in seventh for really going a bit quick. Ooh. That's because I started turning. And the, you've got to remember the trailer turns as well. You think the trailer goes straight, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Not a lot. Driving it is not too bad. I just keep forgetting that it turns out it's got a swing on it because of, because of the turning wheels. And there's some points where you think, right, I don't need it here. But of course, you can't turn it off. It's on all the time. I don't think you can turn it off anyway. Let me know if you can, if it's a key. I'll let him go past and then we're going to pull out. Get the, get the pedal to the metal. We're having to use the gears. As you all know, anybody who's new to the channel won't know this, but anybody who's been here a while and been following me for a few years, I've got basically like all the Jazzy Cat trucks and trailers and BFDs or BDFs or whatever they're called and tandems and coaches and AI traffic and everything in to make it look more real so I kind of try not to pick the top horsepower engines to uh, make it feel a bit more realistic and make, make me work a little bit more because that's what you guys want to see I, f I think you might not let me know if I'm wrong I could be totally wrong but we're doing good I don't think I'm going to be able to pull 12 up here. We're going to lose speed. I might be wrong. 
No, we are losing speed. Are we? No, we're staying. There goes a Rosa. <coughs> Otherwise a policeman to everybody that's like little. And I mean I mean that in the nicest of ways when I call them Rosas. I don't mean it as a derogatory term. I get my words out. Very dry mouth. Been a long day again today. So how many hours have we got left? Let's have a look. F6. About 3 hours and 40 before the next rest stop. So anyone coming up will do. Kind of would like to leave it as close to the, uh, the 3 hour mark if I can. Ooh, this is an uphill stretch. We're definitely going to have to go down. So down to 11th. I like that. You see, you have to change gear even on a slight slope like that. Now, normally, 750 horsepower Volvo straight up there, no matter what you got on the back of it. But we're having to work a bit. There's new physics. They've changed the physics a little bit. They've played around with the game mechanics, and uh, they've done a really good job. So, uh, we need to sort of come off. No, do we? I don't know. No, we're not coming off there. We're going to keep going straight and then come off. So, where that truck just turned up there. So, next right, effectively. Near a signal manoeuvre. Oh. I'm forever missing gears. Again, that's me, not the game. performance here. Down a seventh. That's that's got it. We got it now. There we go, that's a BDF and then the one with the trailer on the back is a BDF tandem of it. It's raining But our lights on as well then. Are my lights on? I think they're on. Put me intermittent on. Not worth changing to the right because that's going to end any second. Oh, it's going to chuck it down. We've got a bit of a shower. Wasn't expecting this. A little bit of a shower. I'll have to get myself a brolly, won't I, if I'm catching a bus to work? It could rain. Wait, it's, it's England. It doesn't rain in England. Come on, Slim. Promote the tourism. No, it doesn't rain. Never rains in this country. It does, really. Oh, yes. Does it rain? We're not talking monsoon, but... A little bit of a shower. Stir things up. I wonder if they've ordered the mechanics from pulling away in the wet. Hmm. Should I stop? No, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to slow down though, because that's like way too fast. I like doing 94 then. 94 kilometres per hour with a 43 ton trailer on the back, or 43 tons worth of cargo on the back. Because that's like combined weight of trailer and cargo. It's probably a little bit too much speed. Oh, is that a, is that a lay-by? We could stop, get out of the rain, go and have a. Yeah, it is. Should we stop? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta stop here, guys. We're only four hours away from being there, and it is absolutely. Ch what we do? We'll go and get a Costa coffee quick, and and a Ginsters pasty. We'll top up. I don't really want to get out and top up the petrol tank, to be honest. I will, but I don't want to. Oh, we can go either side on this. This is new. I don't remember being able to go both sides. If they change these as well, then. All right. Uh, 
Handbrake on. Let's turn the lights off for a minute. Top the fuel tank. In fact, what I'm going to do, we're going to get a photo mode and get our thumbnail quick. Just for you guys. Why not? Look at this. <gasps> Look. Let's see if we can go over there a bit. Can we, get, we can't go through the truck. That's going to get in the way though, isn't it? It's not the ideal place. See, I could just take the picture like that and say, coming soon. No, that'd be cruel. You should know. As to let's go up, up. Tilt. Got to have a bit of tilt. Can't not have a bit of tip. I don't know. I'm tempted to go that way, but it can't. That looks terrible. A little bit of tilt, maybe, and then zoom in. There we go. And we'll play around. We we'll put a little bit more red. We want to get it more orange. You see, a bit more saturation. That's kind of more red, to be honest. There we go. That will do. There we go, and I will probably won't even use that, but you never know. Right, let's go and park her up. Okay, well, I've grabbed my I've grabbed my Costa coffee whilst I was out taking the picture. I've got my Ginsters pasty. Drop her down into first, and we'll go and park this baby up. Rest up for the night. There we go. I've paid as well. There is somewhere to stop, isn't there? Uh, is there somewhere to stop? Yes, here. This is a different, I swear this is a different garage. I don't ever remember stopping here before. This is new. They've redone the garage, unless I've just, this is one of the French ones. And I've just not seen it. Come on, you should be able to stop there. Hello, that, that's in the bay. I think I'll be on the inside one. Uh oh. Kill that man's car, better not do that. Look at the way the wheels turn on that trailer, though. I should be able to stop here. Is this bugged? This has to be bugged. See if this works. Sometimes, if your truck and trailer doesn't work, see what I mean? Oh my god, that was a big clap of thunder! Everybody run and hide, hopefully the rain will be gone. We'll start at 2 o'clock in the morning. There we go, we've got to pick the trade up again now. That was good though, wasn't it? I can turn those off. Are they off? I didn't put my handbrake on then as well. But I couldn't fit with that trailer, that's a little bit annoying. I've got to go forward a little bit more. There's my full beam and the lights on the top. I haven't gone overboard. It looks kind of nice at night as well. Right, let's get back on the road though. I have picked my trailer up, haven't I? Yeah, definitely got it. 
Phew, that's all right then. Alright, we're off. And the houses are making noises, which is all, all sounds good to me. And we're away! It's go, go, go! We've got four hours and twenty minutes. We've got to get over the tunnel. Over on a ferry. And then across to, I think it was the Hampton we're going to. So they say 50 there, but 70, sorry. But that seems still quite high to me. We're revving the hell out of this truck, but it's a racing truck, as I said at the beginning. V8. Here we go. Right, now let's get some let's get the pedal to the metal. And uh get on over to the UK do our few hours at night nice and early miss rush hour if we can and then part this up which is, is where the challenge comes in and I'm sure to mess it up so don't go away it's gonna be fun oh yes So I hope, hopefully a few of you would have caught me yesterday as well, the, uh, the the live stream. Whether that was 8, 10 or 12 hours long, I haven't a clue. Because I haven't recorded it yet. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't live streamed it yet, not, not recorded it, because it's not recording, it's live. Here we go, we're at the channel. Will this, will this fit okay on the, uh, on the tunnel, on the train? It's going to be fun to find out. Oh, yes. Oh, we've got some turning up here to do. Look, we've got to go around a 180 degree curve, then to a 90 degree left, and then a 90 degree right, then another 90 degree left, and then a 90 degree right. I'm in the hard shoulder already, which is not good. We've got left, right, no, right, left, right, left, right. Right? Is that right? I don't know. It's something like that. Hopefully we'll be able to pull out. You know, this seventh gear is cool. It's going to take this all the way up here. Come on, you can do it. I say clear left, clear right. Time to breach. Oh no, that's that's war games. Look at this. We're just like it's with ease. This thing goes around these corners, look. You'd expect you'd have to type like a normal trailer that didn't have the steering axles on the back. We'd be like, right, I have to take this super wide, but nope, this thing just glides around and follows the follows the front end where it's been. Absolutely fabulous. Right, second turning on the right. I am gonna pull out a bit here though, to be fair. <laughs> I would in a normal truck, so. I'm gonna do it in that one. Whoop. Over over steer. Oh this is gonna be fun the other end. And away we go. We're going across to Fogstone. And then we've got to drive over to Southampton. So not long now. Rest in peace. Any head... Oh my god, it's put me a bit far forward, hasn't it? I'm just saying, that's a little bit far forward. Can I go back any? I don't think I can. This is going to be fun. Okay, hang on right. Oh, right, here we go. We can do this. I'm going to put my, uh, my beacons on. Oh, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought that was going to be a nightmare. Mind you, we've got a hill, might have a hill start. 
think I need to keep the momentum going in about fourth up here. It might be good. So 4am in the morning, 2 hours 52 drive, we should get there by daybreak, we should just be coming off of lights about an hour before, possibly. So, 5 minutes left, and then I'm just going to end, end it. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, I've got a second, I've managed to get seconds of bite. Wow. Ooh. I'm getting wheel spin. I managed to get traction. I almost had to think of putting the diff lock on then. I know technically you wouldn't do it in real life there, I wouldn't have thought, but we almost were wheel spinning to the point where we couldn't get the traction. Here we go, we're not bad, doing an average of 7.4 miles per gallon in this truck since I kitted out. That's like better than a Lamborghini. Oh look, the viewers just went up, the viewership it was like, it was like there. And then it went right up because I said the word Lamborghini. I've said it again, there's another rise in viewers. All of a sudden loads of viewers come along, watch the video from that point. Kev's going, Jesus, you're screaming the hell out of that engine. Change gear. But we're, we're good. Here we go, look at this. Look at this, take that curve. Oh, that's so good. Look at this, nothing coming. Seriously, can I go straight out? I can. I can't believe that. Nobody wants to block my day. There we go. I'm not sure if we should have an escort following us with a load like this, but I don't think we should. Some some may do in some places, I suppose. Does it depend on the company or is there a law? Who knows? Kev knows. Pat knows. I suppose a few other people do. Or suspect, should I say, a few others do, not suppose. Wrong word! Slim, you're looking like an idiot again. I'm good at doing that. Here we go. Tenth gear, wait. Oh no, I thought that was a freaking toll booth then. I was going, I don't remember toll booth being there. But it's not, it's a fuel station, we're good on fuel. Nice leisurely drive. Now, when I play this off off camera, I do normally have the radio on because I'd really find this therapeutic, <laughs> just to chill out, do a bit of driving, a few tunes banging out on the box, just have my local radio station on. So, if you're driving, actually in game, you might want to put my local radio station on. It's Wave 105, and it is in game. So press R, tune in, and that's the music I listen to. Possibly, unless they're playing shit and then I would have turned it over. But if they're playing good tunes, then that's what I would be listening to. Yeah! Here we go. Up to 12. Tick over now. We're going a little bit quick again. Let's just take a little bit of that speed down. About there. It's not bad. Only up the road now. Going to my hometown of Southampton. How cool is that? Now, if the next job after I've rested is a friggin' train, I'm recording it tonight. And you're going to get that before this, which will be funny. Because then you'll be like, what the hell's going on? We've just watched you do a genuine video on that heavy, heavy cargo pack. And now you're making out that it doesn't exist. Because you'll be watching this second. Yeah, that's going to confuse people. I reckon we're going to go probably an hour and a quarter. Maybe an hour and ten. So a little bit over the hour, you were thinking you were getting a 15 minute video and I was cutting down and then this happens. Yes, it's the, I, I'm going to struggle to get videos down to half an hour or 45 minutes. I really am. I think what I should do is just shove them into Sony Vegas and chop. Give them the chop. And you'll be like, oh, hang on. yeah, and then you'll be, and then we'll be on another bit. 
and like all the sound would be all over the place. That wouldn't be good video, would it? No. Oh yes, nice little gentle drive. Are we, oh, we can go faster here. Eh? Ninety-seven. Oh yeah, it's seventy miles per hour in the UK. Can truck are trucks allowed to do that? I thought they were sixty. Kev, what's the rules, mate? I thought lorries were 10 miles an hour below. Maybe on motorways they can do 70, but dual carriage they have to be 10 miles an hour slower. Kev will correct us all momentarily in the comments. Ready? He's going to do it. If he does give me like a, a sensible answer, I'll pin it to the top. But if he's silly with it, then it can just go in with, it, with everybody else's comments. Here we go. 1 hour 49 to go. Won't take long now. We're not. I don't think we're going to be that far over an hour, to be fair. I reckon maybe an hour five and then ten minutes parking. Oh, look. Ah, look. Typical. This is a British thing, look. You can do 97 kilometres an hour, but we're going to stop you at 80 kilometres an hour. Literally just before, the, before we're going to nab you on a speed camera. Send you a ticket in the boat and charge you lots of money. Yes, that's what they do do that. I suspect other countries do it as well. Oh, we've dropped a bit too much speed and we're still dropping, which is not good. We're going to have to drop a gear. Try and regrain a bit of speed. Come on, we're at 63. Go 64 and I'll be happy. No, that's, get, that's still going down. 62. 64. We're going the right way now. If we get to 65, I'll change gear. There we go. We're all good now. But yeah, definitely. I reckon that's a sweet spot. This is not the heaviest vehicle, though. I think the train is. So, we should see how a 560 horsepower engine copes with a train at some point. Hopefully this week. As I say, I'll try and record them over the next few days. Uh, won't be able to record tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday, although you're watching it on Sunday, so yesterday I won't have been able to record. Assuming you're watching it on Sunday, but if you're watching it in several weeks' time and it's a Tuesday, then previously, on an episode near you, I would have been live streaming, so I didn't have time to record. Wow, we're losing speed again. Oh, hang on. No, that's, it said Savannah. I thought we had to pull off then. I thought, no, we can't pull off there. We're nearly there, though. I think I've done a pretty good job so far. We'll see how we get on. Oh. A little bit of wandering lanes there. Luckily, there was no cars. And we don't let pedestrians on motorways most of the time. Occasionally, but not most of the time. Obviously emergency services or cars break down occasionally, so obviously they have to walk out on the motorway. Not in the lanes though, hopefully. Stay safe. And remember, everything I do in these videos, you can only do at home. You cannot, you don't do this out on the out, outside world, on the roads outside even. I get it right. It's late at night again, guys, when I'm recording. I, m I must get out of the habit of recording late at night. Although maybe it'll happen more now I'm back at work. Who knows? Who knows? But we're doing good. We're wandering again. 45 minutes out. We're nearly there, look. Hey, we're only f like five past. Hour and five coming up for. That's not too bad. So as I, as I say, 15 minutes to park it maybe. If it takes me that long, I'm going to give up. I tell you. Already losing speed. I think we can make that. Yep, we did good there. Oh yes! We made it up the hill. 
But I'm liking the little, you know, we get a little slope, got to change down, get up it, otherwise we're not going to make it. I like that. God knows what it would be down like in Italy, or up in Scotland, where the, uh, the inclines are more. I, I suspect at some point we may find out in the future. I think we're coming off on the next one. And then we're heading to town to drop this off. It's quite nice we're delivering this back to Southampton to my hometown because I have to say some of our roads do need a little bit of work as I'm sure yours do wherever you live. It's like... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if broke, if it is broke, then don't fix it either because we're the council. Basically. But we're still charged the end user, the drivers for it. Because that's what we do. Oh, there's a copper. This is 80 kilometers an hour down here. That's a little bit much, I'd say. I'm pretty pretty confident that none of the roads leaving leaving the motorway coming into Southampton are 80 kilometers. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty confident that there aren't any. I'm pretty sure they're all like 40 mph or lower. Hey, not far now, then we're going to park up and we'll call it quits. I might get another quick, quick screenshot once we're parked, if I can get it in now and there's nothing blocking. We'll have a look. I'm going to slow it down again now. Here we go. Hang on the right. Can I get a suitable screenshot? Well, I'm already out, so I'm going. This is going to be an awkward camera. Oh, can I do this? Oh, look at that. That's a good shot. I need the other indicator. I'm coming off, mate. I'm coming. No, I'm coming off. I'm coming off there. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right, that's where we're going in there. That was good. That was quite good. Where are we parking it? Oh my lord. Seriously? Why you do this to me, game? That's going to be awkward. That's not going to be an easy one. I might be wrong, but it doesn't look easy. I'm going to pull out like that. Um, I'm tempted to go outside view, because otherwise I've got to use that mirror. No, I don't know. I can't reckon I can do that. We'll have a go. And we'll see how we get on. But this is going to be trickier than belief. Trust me. When I say this is going to go wrong. Probably. About now. Well, I don't know. That's not bad. It's too much, but it's not bad. Can we can we correct that? that that's terrible. That is in fact terrible, but we, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. You can see the wheels turning on this thing now. That's the why. See, that was planned. Here we go. Now we're going to go back straight. And then we're going to start turning it. And I'm going to go back to that wind mirror. Oh, oh, is that... That's not far off. That's terrible, Slim. But, of course, you might need to go forward on some of these jobs. That's that's how they've designed it in the game. Honest. That wasn't a bad go, considering I was a little bit off there. 
and the fact that I haven't been driving of late at all, not even in real life, and I'm not a truck driver. I think that was reasonable. Wait, what, what, what's going on there? I might have to go outside here, guys. Okay, so How did that get all the way over there? It's these turning trailers, I tell you. They're a bit of death in me. I wish you could lock those. Somebody's going to put it in the comments. You know you can lock those back wheels, don't you? And I'll be like, no, I don't, actually. There you go, that's better. Hey, that's not bad. Third go. I can turn the beacons off. We can go outside. Oh, we could go outside view, but I've kind of finished. Satisfactory. What happened there? What was that damage penalty for? We didn't hit anything. Oh, I don't recall hitting a single thing. Guys, put in the comments if you know what the timestamp was for the collision, because I don't recall one. I really don't. We'll shut that off, we'll pop the brake on. We shall go to photo mode quick. Because yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up now with another screenshot. I'm gonna use one or the other. I don't know which one. This one might be better. Because we're kind of parked nicely there. That's not too bad, actually. I like that. And then we can put the logo up there. Right, guys, if you've liked this video, clap your hands. No, not clap your hands. That's not it. Uh, if you like this video, then chuck a like on it. If you've disliked it, hit the dislike. Feel free to comment down below. Tips, ideas, questions. The timestamp of where I had the accident, because I don't recall having an accident anywhere there. Um, but if there was one, put the timestamp in. Um, as I say, chuck some comments down, your feelings, whatever you want to do. Chuck them down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will put the usual links for Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon all in the description of the video. But most importantly, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and share the odd video out, guys. That's it for today then, guys. So until the next time, goodbye from me for now. Bye-bye.